Well, nothing says fat and uncultured like day drinking on Soy Cowboy, but cheers. <laughs>
just fine only speaking English. I'm now putting a lot of effort into learning the language and that's opening up all these new opportunities for me and I'm so glad that I'm doing it, but do you need to do it to live here? I mean, not really. So many people have lived here for many, many years and don't speak a word of Thai and they get by just fine. So you can jump on Facebook and go to one of the expat Facebook groups and check out the cesspool of human waste that is the comment section in there. And have a read through the comments on the post. Oh my God. I feel sorry for people that post like normal questions in there. They just get lit up in the comments by all these like jaded, grumpy old men that are sick of living in this country, but for whatever reason, still choose to live here. So this is Wisdom 101. Basically, it's a big digital park. There's a couple of really big malls that are highly desirable for digital nomads and people working online. They've got lots of co-working spaces and those big cafes and everything. And then behind the malls, there's a couple of different condos which are popular for people to live in. Personally, I don't see what the big deal is. It seems kind of boring here to me, but hey, each to their own. Now, all jokes aside about the language thing, I do understand this can be a real burden recently. I was in Japan and I'd often thought I'd like to experience living in Japan at some point, but after being there for three weeks, I realized the language barrier there is too much. And, and at this point in my life, I don't have what it takes to be able to, to want to learn another language again. It takes a lot to learn a language. It takes years, you know, I've lived here for two years and I'm like in the grand scheme of things, my Thai is terrible. Before this, I lived in South Korea and my Korean was actually quite good. But it took years of hard work, studying, practicing, lessons, tutoring, all that. It's a real commitment. So do you need to learn Thai to live here? The answer is no. I think if, if you get to a stage like I am where, you know, I can do general things. My day to day, I can do pretty much all in Thai. I can order food. I can get around. I can have very small talk conversations, get to know people. That's enough of a level that you can, you can live here quite comfortably. Now to get to this level of Thai is not that difficult. It just takes a little bit of practice and some learning and you know, maybe a couple of online lessons or something like that, or having a friend or someone teach you these things. However, I did live here for a year before I started doing any of this. So, you know, you are fine to come here and get by if you don't speak Thai. All right, this place is boring. I'm out of here. So let's continue this uncultured theme for the day. Right, thank you so much. Bye bye. Have a nice day. <laughs> Fun taxi ride. One of those ones you put a seatbelt on for. <laughs> well, nothing says fat and uncultured like day drinking on Soy Cowboy, but cheers. <laughs> so, in all seriousness, alcoholism is actually a real problem here and you know, especially in areas like this, you'll see, oh, where I went this morning for breakfast to that pub, that was 10.30 in the morning and that pub was full of people drinking. I wish I could show the guy sitting next to me, he would have put away at least four beers in the time that I was sitting there eating my breakfast. It's, it's actually quite concerning. I think if you do come and live here, it's important to find normal interests and things to do. You know, that's a big part of the reason I love Pattaya and I'm down there all the time. But I choose not to live there because it's a constant party. Every night there's something happening and that's just part of the culture there. People drink and party all the time, you know? So one thing, as an example of what you can do in Pattaya, I know there's, I think there's like 20 golf courses down there and some of them are actually world-class golf courses. So, you know, finding things like, I don't play golf, but finding things like that to do is a way of staying active, staying healthy and staying out of that vortex of drinking every day. Ah, gotta love a bit of day drinking. <laughs> well, what do you know? I'm hungry again. Well, what does a fat, uncultured Westerner do after a bit of day drinking? 
You get yourself a big fucking burger. <laughs> God damn, that's good. If you've never been to Prime Burger here in Thailand, it's legit. You gotta come check it out.